kayo ay nanonood ng kauna-unahan at kaisa isang locally produced daily show na tungkol at para sa ating mga Pilipino at pangarap ng marami sa ating mga Pilipino ang makamit ang tinatawag nilang American Dream. We give you regular updates here in terms of immigration. At ito po ang ating American Dream for today. This American Dream segment is brought to you by Aquino and Low Law Firm. Answering your immigration questions. Hello! At magandang hapon sa iyo, Attorney Allison Aquino. She is not just an immigration lawyer, also a board-certified specialist in immigration and nationality law. Welcome to Cabo Bayan, L.A. Good afternoon, Janelle. Allison, you know, we all know of this. A lot of our Cabo Bayans, sometimes um, when they feel that there's no way for them to get their U.S. citizenship or their green card, the next thing they think of is to get married to a U.S. citizen. But you're telling us today that it's not that easy. Well, um, not that it's not that easy, but people do need to be cautious because naturally um, a mar uh, getting married in order to obtain a green, simply for the purpose of obtaining a green card is not a legal way to do it. Okay. Um, how, however, if individuals truly are in a valid and bona fide legitimate relationship with a U.S. citizen or perhaps a permanent resident, then certainly it is a viable option for them. What are the requirements, Allison? Um, for an individual who's married to either a U.S. citizen or a green card holder, um, uh, as far as applying for permanent residency based on marriage to a U.S. citizen, an individual needs to have evidence of how they entered the United States, such as their passport or their I-94. And as I mentioned, you do need to be able to prove that the marriage and the relationship is legitimate and bona fide. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, one of the main requirements is certainly that any prior marriages um, by either of the, the parties, either the husband or wife, have been lawfully terminated. Okay. Paano yun, Allison, kung halimbawa pumasok dito sa Amerika tapos nag-overstay? So naging uh, illegal um, alien siya dito, pero na-inlove na siya at nagpakasal at nag-asawa. Will that matter, the fact that she overstayed or he overstayed? As long as the individual has evidence of their entry, it will not matter that they overstayed their visa. Okay, thank you for clearing that up. Also, the length of processing for marriage-based petitions. It's actually going quite fast, and that's why some people are tempted to go ahead and just get married for the sake of obtaining a green card. Mm -hmm. um, but if you really are in a legitimate relationship, once you file your application with the Immigration Service, an individual right now, at least here in Southern California, um, an individual is receiving a work permit in as quick as two to three months. Okay. And as far as obtaining permanent residency itself, mm -hmm. it can be as quick as four to five months. And what is the difference between uh, marrying a U.S. citizen and marrying a legal permanent uh, resident? Well, as far as uh, an individual who marries a U.S. citizen, they are immediately eligible to apply for their green card mm -hmm. um, as long as they have evidence of their entry. Okay. For an individual who's married only to a green card holder, the only thing that that individual can do is file a petition to place the spouse, the, the um, uh, uh, immigrant spouse, mm -hmm. on a waiting list. Uh, um, the good part is that right now the waiting list for an individual who is married to a green card holder is only about two years. Okay. And what if uh, the person married to a US, U.S. citizen commits uh, fraud or, or, or crime? Will they still be eligible? Uh, that is, uh, unfortunately, a common issue amongst Filipinos just because it's so difficult um, with respect to obtaining a visa in the Philippines. Uh, it's difficult to obtain a visa, and so some people do commit, a, uh, to commit fraud. Mm -hmm. For example, they enter on, a, on an assumed name or they falsely claim um, a date of birth or marital status. Uh, any individual who has committed fraud or uh, any individual who has a criminal issue they are still eligible to apply for their green card, but in addition to applying for the green card, they will also need to apply for a fraud waiver okay. or a criminal waiver. Okay, so, so that, go ahead. So I was, I, I'm mentioning any individual, you know, a lot of people falsely think, well, I'm married to a U.S. citizen, it cures everything. Um, mm -hmm. That's not the case. The individuals do still need to deal with the fraud. They do still need to deal with the criminal issues. So marriage in and of itself is not the cure all. Okay, and that said, Allison, what could be the glitches? What are the red flags for the USCIS in terms of marriage-based petitions? Um, there are some, some issues that immigration will take a look at. And some common issues immigration uh, field might be a concern is if, for example, there is an age difference between the spouses. 
Um, another red flag is if the individual enters the United States, quickly gets divorced, and then quickly remarries a U.S. citizen or a green card holder. That's considered to be, you know, a, a special what's, concern. What's quickly, Allison? Two years? Six months? Well, there, there, there's no, uh, no, no set time period, but first and foremost, an individual in California needs to reside in, in California for at least six months okay. before being even eligible to apply for a divorce. Okay. So typically within a few months to a year or less, um, that's considered a special concern. Okay, when you are caught um, uh, doing some of, uh, like taking advantage of this law, what is the consequence of a fraudulent it, marriage? It's extremely serious, and unfortunately, there are too many unscrupulous paralegals who do convince individuals to enter into fraudulent marriages and submit fraudulent applications for the immigration. And individuals do need to realize that the consequence of a fraudulent marriage is a lifetime bar from wow. ever legalizing their status. All right. That is tough. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us today on Cabo Bay in L.A., Allison Aquino. Thank you, Janelle. Attorney Allison Aquino, we were flashing the number on the screen earlier. They do give free consultations, so go call them now. When we return on the show, it's an Amanpon Kababayan, boxing hero, a boxing champion. We're going to be talking about him. He has an upcoming fight. You wouldn't want to miss that. Cable's best deal ever sale is here. When Time Warner Cable makes an offer, <laughs> it's move it or lose it time, right?